we have here is a hot water heater that I thought we had a burned element on. Spot to grill, don't you think? Yeah. I think it's a nice spot. We are at Pap Brewing Company. <laughs> <laughs> waiting on our turn to go inside. The wait is actually longer for outside now. This is a real change of events than the wait for inside seating. Just ordered our food. What did you get, babe? The uh, black and blue burger. And I got the border burger. chewing on that you let me know what you think mine is excellent I got the border and it's got like jalapenos and the guacamole sauce and all this stuff it's really yummy it's really tasty you make a good burger here yep We stayed at another Walmart last night, one here in Bozeman, Montana. We're packing up and getting ready to go. We're actually going to stay at another Walmart tonight in Butte. In Butte. Walmart south of Butte, Montana, across the street from the cemetery. Should be a peaceful night. We're hoping it gets quiet a little bit later on. Big Sky Brewing Company, Harvest Host. So, we're here for a night. We're in Missoula, Montana.
finish setting up at our Boondockers Welcome location up in Kalispell, Montana. It is gorgeous here. We'll be here for three nights so that we get to go and see what we can of Glacier National Park. Beautiful and grassy. Wow, I haven't seen a dog fountain like that in a while. Bay, you want some water? I think she's good. Want some water? Just like I'm good. It's running. Okay. There'll be more people to say hi to in a second. So it's here. This place even has a pond you can bring your dogs into and let them go running and swimming in to cool off. It's a little chilly for us to have the dogs in the water today, so we opted to not enter that section. Thankfully, it's an option to not enter. Forgive my ignorance. You had said something a minute ago, and I said I'm down. What was that? So we're going to go hiking tomorrow morning, so you don't have to work tomorrow morning. Oh, that sounds fun. I'm always down to hike. We are on the Lion Mountain trail well part of it this is the 3.6 mile loop dogs that can be verbally controlled are allowed to be off leash on this trail coming up to the overlook spot Because <laughs> your feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> who, who, who made it to the top? I did. But you want to walk with me? So worth it. Pays off. This is gorgeous. Out near Whitefish, Montana. This hike was pretty cool. It was really easy. It was marked as easy on all trails too. This place is pretty cool though. It's really well marked. It even has a boot scraper. What, honey? It yeah, it's all very well decorated here. 
And they even had a map up out on the trails so you can figure out where you're at. Nope. You ready? Yep. We are at the Boundary County Fairgrounds. Bonner Ferry, Idaho. We got here yesterday. They have a dump station with non potable water at it. And let's see, that is just over, over there. And then over here behind the trees. There's a little green building that has potable water. We've really enjoyed our time here, other than the fact that this train runs all night long too. But luckily, we only heard it, I think, twice in the middle of the night. Only, I know. Twice too many times for me. But still, as far as being a free place to park in a safe location, and having a free dump station right there for you. This has been a really nice spot. And I think, other than the trains, the most noise we hear is the kids playing. Good evening, everyone. Um, we are at Cabela's in Flash on the Screen. The last Cabela's we attempted to go to was when we first got to South Dakota and we were told that due to COVID they weren't allowing our viewers to stay the night. So this is a huge change. There is one, two, three, four, ten over there. other RVs than us that are here. This one does not have a dump station. Uh, it does have a spigot for fresh water but I have not tested it to see if you could get water from it. We are at a boondockers welcome location. There's our trailer up in the driveway. This location happens to be sitting right on the river, across the river from the state park. We got here and as soon as Bay noticed the water she already had jumped into it. So the whole property is gated all the way around so it's really nice but both of my dogs have figured out how to get around to the other side of the fence by swimming out in the water. I threw the frisbee out one time and she brought it back to the bank and then went back out here and just started swimming basically in circles with grasps at the water every once in a while. Lexi is fishing. We are going on a nice little tiny two mile hike in Riverside State Park. Spokane. And this is our entrance into it. Rustic suspension bridge <laughs> crosses Spokane River to Pic Picnickers Paradise. And away we go. And Bay's like, but there's a trail down to the water, Mom. Come on, Bay, this way.
You gonna catch up, eh? <laughs> it's really soft. It is soft. They stay. Very cool. Come on, guys, this way. So we've just finished the loopy part. Now we're heading back over to the bridge. Tink, stay here. and they're still sleeping. But, um, we got here yesterday afternoon. We are staying at my girlfriend's in Edwall, Washington. And I did not know she had this when I got here. Before I got here, she had a garage built. All packed up and ready to go. Ah. This is where we're parking for the night. Look at these views. Love harvest host. This is nice. I mean, look out here. We are staying the night here. It is a harvest host location. Staying for one night. Birch Bay, Thousand Trails Campground, up in or up near Blaine, Washington. So this is the dog park.
is a hot water heater that I thought we had a burned element on. Well, I got down here to start taking a look at replacing the element a little closer and we had a little mini fire happen down here. See that cord? Burnt right up. Now the hot water heater element probably caused that but I get to uh, redo some wiring. Luckily I've got this extra loop of wire here I can work with. What is this mess? This mess is the burnt up electrical I showed you earlier. I replaced all of that. Rerouted the cable, made it a little short. No! Replaced the uh, heating element in our hot water heater. I repaired the pump. The first pump we had in this when we bought it was 55 PSI sure flow. I haven't been able to find a good replacement. The replacement we found was 42 or 44 PSI sure flow. And we burned that one up the same way we burned this one up. I guess running a dry tank or we, we didn't pay attention to a freeze. Whatever we did we, wrong. We had a failure. So we finally found the part that's failed. It's the same part failed on both. They had the same symptoms. I put the original pump back in today because this thing, this is called a Artis Products model pds1 130 1240e and when i asked the lady i said what's the quietest pump you got said, oh she says this is the quietest pump we have this is the loudest thing it sounds like a jackhammer <laughs> it literally it rattles so hard that the shower head the hose of its own volition thwops against the wall while you're taking a shower <laughs> this is the loudest pump i've ever heard in my life so we replaced it. We got our sure flow back. It's so nice. 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 Here we go. Next week on The Local Pond. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.